So the next thing we're going to do is, well, there's a lot of arbitrary uh, XML data out there. So again, I'm not allowed to use a transformer because we haven't talked about them yet but we're going to read arbitrary XML data. What do I mean by arbitrary XML data? I mean just XML data you might get from a web service or maybe your buddy sends you some uh, some XML data because he knows that, that you two love XML. And so, you know, you have FME and um, you haven't actually taken the course yet. So let's say you don't even know what, um, what a transformer is per se. So again, we're going to open this in Workbench, okay? And we're going to go to CSV with this XML. So we're going to convert this XML to um, CSV. So I'll say CSV down here. And let's pick an output format. Output, we'll call it, uh, okay, I just want a directory. Right, there we go. So we're going to call it output. Okay, right there. Make sure I didn't do output, output. And we're going to put the output field names on the first line. Okay, and there we go. Okay, I forgot one thing. I forgot to tell it what tables I wanted, so that's okay. First thing I always do is I always open the XML. So I'm not an IE fan, but hey, it, it works here. So um, as you can see, this is the XML document. It has a table called customers with a customer record, and it has another table called orders with order record. So I'm going to turn those into two tables, a customer table and a order table. So we're going to, I'm going to do this again. I'm going to just add the reader back, add reader, XML, okay, and go over here to demos, arbitrary data, orders, XML, and I'm going to specify the elements that I want to match, which were customer, customer, whoops, customer, and order, okay. And I'm going to say that. And I also want to flatten these because I don't just want an XML fragment for each of these pieces. I actually want to convert it into a relational like view. So I'm going to say enable flattening like that. And um, that's what I'm going to do there. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Just like that. Okay. And so now you'll see I have these nice attributes. Okay. Like that. Look at that thing of beauty, a thing of beauty, okay, and um, we will log them just for, just for kicks, okay, connect loggers, and now I'll run, well, I won't do, I'll just log one of them, doesn't matter, okay, we'll only look, at. whoops, okay, click the wrong button, here we go, okay, and so now when we look in the log, we're going to see, you can see the XML fragments here, this is an XML fragment for customer, Okay, but you can also see by saying flattening, FME now turn them into attributes that I can actually work with. Okay, so now going out to, whoops, going out to CSV now is trivial because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select these two attribute types on the input and say duplicate on writer. Duplicate on writer and now what I have is I have two CSV files that will be created that are equivalent to the two tables within the XML document. So just to show how to rename some attributes on the customer address one, I'm going to get rid of some things. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I always find this more fun when you have specials, you know, sound effects. Okay, and I'm going to get rid of this one. And you can see why, I mean, how easy this is. I don't you know, I'm other than open knowing how to open XML in IE or any or your favorite browser. Um, you know, I really don't know what's going on here. Okay, so now I'm just going to okay. I'm just connecting these now because I renamed them. Opportunity for improved user experience there. Okay, make a PR about that one. Okay, so now what I have is I have this order and customer. Okay, so now I run these again. I can leave the loggers connected if I want, and I run it. And now what I should have is I'll have two CSV files. Okay, so we'll go over here, and we'll go to output. And look at that. That's the, uh, where did I put them? Okay, let's see here. Okay, refresh. Uh, that's interesting. 
Where did I put them? Okay, there's always good fun. Where did I actually write them? Demos. Ah, I put them in seven writing demos. Okay, we'll put them somewhere else. I didn't really want to put them there. Okay, we want to put them here. It's always exciting doing them live, Laura. Okay, we're going to put them there. Okay, and run it again. And now the output's where I want it. Okay, so you can see, ah, that's better. I have the times. Now I can look at the CSV. And oh, well, once to open it in Excel, one of the great things of our new data inspector is this ability to look at non-spatial data. And actually, it does a better job of CSV files than Excel. So there you go. So there's the view of, of uh, one table here. So this is the, okay, let's go like this. Okay. So thing like that, and this is the uh, customer table. You can see the four rows, okay. And this is the order table, and you can see all the fields there. So now I've successfully transformed that XML document into CSV. So there you go. And of course, that could have gone into any database. Um, I just picked CSV because it was different than PostGIS or Postgres. And uh, there we go. And we still haven't used any transformers, so that's really the the key thing now. So even with um, out using any transformers, it's easy to to work with uh, with FME and XML.